these are pellet stove model turns uh, wood or pellets. And the reason we lock this front here is you can't open the door during the pellet burn. But if you decide to use wood, you can unlock this. And then you got your draft for your stool. But then you've got to put the gate in the back for your pellet burner. Now, what I'd like to show you is probably one of the easiest ways to get it lit. You just pour pellets in the hopper, like that. Fill it up to how much you want to maybe burn, burn time. And right here on this side is your light hole. And the best way to light it, it takes only about a minute, is just use the Burnsomatic torch. Put her in there. In less than a minute, it'll be lit. This here controls the amount of flow of pellets. Right now, I've got it all the way out. That opens up the slide gate, so the maximum amount of pellets will flow into the burner head. All the burn takes place right exactly in this head. There's no actual burn in the stove itself. All it is is flame. And the flame shoots forward, hits the front door, rolls back, and then goes up the chimney. Try to keep this as level as possible, or slightly higher than level, but not the other way because your flow of the pellets is everything. If the pellets don't flow, it will go out or burn, burn back up even into the hopper. When you close this down, it's set now so it only, it, it has a screw there. That screw stops you, so what we call it's the pilot light. You can't close it completely off. If you want it to close it completely off, you take that screw off, but then you have to you have to make sure it's all the way closed. If you don't, it will not always, but it will burn back up into the hopper. For that case, that's why we got the lid so it won't cause a draft in a fire. So once you put the pellets in it, be sure and put the lid on. Pellets go in like such. Put the lid on. That keeps any draft from coming back up through the pellet hopper. The problem is, if it isn't completely shut off, it will creep back up like a fire in a forest fire. It just kind of comes back up in the pot and it just creeps and then it starts smoking in your tent. This should be enough for to get the lid going. You can see it's lit right now. If you look into that little hole, it's going. That's your little lighting hole. When it gets going good, just flip the lid down. And be sure and wear gloves around this kind of stuff because that's hot. It's a stove. It's a wood-burning camp stove for outside use only. It'll take probably 10 to 15 minutes to get up to full burn. And then the only way to slow it down now is like push in the, the, the burner head. The more you push it in, the more it slows down the pellet flow. But right now I'm going to leave it on full open. And we'll wait for the heat. The quality of pellets makes a big difference. The smaller the pellets, the easier they flow into the burner. If you get these ones that are really long, hopefully you don't have very many, because if you do, it blocks the pellet flow. Uh, these kind of camp stoves are strictly self-flow. Everything is, is hinges on the amount of draft you have. And these stoves come with about eight foot of pipe, or approximately, because draft is everything. Without the draft, there is no, the, it just don't work. Of course, you got to have draft in anything, any kind of stove. But if uh, for some reason that it doesn't draft, it will not work. Like for instance, uh, if you get 11, 12,000 feet, 
it's, the air is so thin it's really hard to make them draft. So that's a couple of things you're going to end up having to know or run into it before you buy one.